guys welcome to my channel happy thursday i'm so sorry that i did not upload on sunday i feel like i've been a naughty 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 girl um and i don't know about it some people are like telling me off <laughs> for like not being consistent and usually like i've not missed a sunday upload in like a year or something but um people were getting a little bit you know annoyed at me i'm really sorry my older sister is visiting and she has her six month old baby i'm sure lots of you guys might have seen it on my snapchat and i had the choice to either edit or to um spend time with baby and i opted for baby okay guys i'm sorry I'm broody and um, yeah I haven't seen my sister in so long and I haven't seen the baby since he was 10 days old so for me like family is so important and I'm very sorry but I knew I was going to do this video today anyway but I basically just wanted to share some of my absolute favourite things of the moment. I don't do monthly favourites because I just genuinely don't have new favourite products every single month but I've just got favourite things that I feel like I want to share for this season and hopefully it gives you some inspiration and is also useful you know I want everything I do to be relatively useful and I always want you to get a pen and paper and feel like yes I can apply this to my life or whatever so let's get started I'm gonna start off with my beauty things um, and then just some random things I'm sorry my, I feel like my favorite things aren't as glamorous as they are meant to be but they are practical okay practical over glamorous uh, but let's do the glamorous things. So number one, it's going to be this Illamasqua lipstick. You guys have been complimenting me on it um, so many times when you've seen me wearing it. And wearing it now with a combination of Very Victoria as well. And it's from a new collection. I have no idea what the lipstick is called because it's on the packaging. But it's a beautiful, beautiful dark red. And it kind of feels like a mature red, you know. Like a, I'm a grown woman kind of red. I really like it for the autumn season. And I um, just wear it with Very Victoria from Charlotte Tilbury on the inside because I feel like my lips do need some extra dimension but it's a gorgeous kind of satin lipstick and after that it's an oldie but a newie it is the Ardell lashes and um, I've got two things to say about the Ardell lashes the reason why I've come back to liking this is because I've actually been wearing like the mink like they're not really mink but the mink lashes and velour lashes and they are beautiful like they look gorgeous they give you really fluttery eyes but you know what they're not as easy as just a pair of Ardells one they're quite expensive they are beautiful if you have a special occasion I would definitely suggest buying them I have a coupon code down below but I just prefer the cheapy lashes which you can just fling on and not worry if you lose them and these actually last just as long as the mink ones I actually find that the mink ones last less because when you try to peel off the um, like glue on the band and stuff the lashes actually come off that doesn't happen on these Ardell lashes also just a little trick Boot sells Ardell lashes for £5.59 or £5.99. No, I go to my local Asian store, beauty supply store, and I buy them for £2.29. Now, I don't really get to go to them often, so I usually just stack up on like 10 for my bag and go. So I'm not about to be paying double the price for Ardell lashes that I've been buying for the last five years for £2.99. And actually, they used to be £1.99, but yeah, they're a really, really good pair of lashes. After that, it's going to be the Tom Ford Noir de Noir um, perfume and I really do love the Tom Ford perfumes there's something about the Noir de Noir that is so sexy like it jet like the bottle is sexy and the smell is sexy and I think I'm liking things that are a little bit more grown woman and this just has that that like you know what <laughs> get ready tonight baby <laughs> kind of smell to it it's really rich it's really like dark and really warm um, and it's so hard to explain perfume smells but this one is like female female hormones I don't know I don't know if they'd ever want me to say that but I feel like it smells real sexy and if you want to smell sexy you should go for this um, after that I wanted to show you my simple skincare wipes and these are actually a design that are in collaboration with Holly Fulton and you guys know simple that everything they do is usually really clear and really crisp and their packaging is usually just green and white but they've gone for the black and white packaging and also the pink pack packaging but one thing I realised is that I haven't had wipes for a really long time but I realised how essential they are if you have events or if you're on a flight and you've got a long day and you're not going to wipe your makeup 
makeup off just having wipes will actually just save you especially if they're really gentle and these ones are actually really really good really really gentle if you have sensitive skin and they get so much off I love it after that it is my Revlon uh, precision dark lash adhesive now everyone uses the Eyelaw adhesive and some other adhesive I can't remember what it's called and I used to buy that but where I am I can't really get it to it easily and then somehow I was in Tesco and I was like I desperately need eyelash glue and then they only had this and I'm telling you this is one of the best eyelash glues I have ever used my eyelashes stay down and this is actually the black glue the black adhesive as well but my eyelashes stay down they look great you don't get that white crispy shiny eyelidy thing like no it's so so good and it's lasted me so long without drying out and it's just got the standard brush applicator like this mine's looking a little bit wild right now I don't know if you guys can see it. it's a little bit wild and I can't quite get the lid down because it's got a little bit too much glue on the outside but honestly amazing where have I been so these final bits aren't necessarily beauty but they're like skinny and hairy thing so I'll show them to you anyway so I've mentioned in the past that I basically suffer from like contact dermatitis or eczema or whatever underneath my eyes and just around my eyes in general because I do have allergies I have dust allergies and um and like hay fever and stuff and I get like my eyes really really itch and then they go really wrinkly and they get really swollen and they just look like some grandma eyes like if you come really close up and um I even had to go to the doctor and I've been dealing with this for over a year and so they gave prescribed me a steroid cream like a 0.01 percent um hydrocortisone steroid cream but it's really bad to use steroid creams especially consistently because it thins the skin and especially around the eyes because the eyes are so thin and so um, the eye skins are so thin and I used the steroid cream for about um for like the seven days and it cleared it up but I realized that I just kept getting this reoccurringly and I didn't want to keep having to like put steroid cream in my eye steroid cream on my eye and then have literally no eye skin left or just be have wrinkly eyes so I was like I need an alternative and then somehow I came across this boots um thing it's the Dermacare Emollient Cream with almond oil and lanolin. And I have genuinely found this has made a significant difference, one, in the texture of my skin, and two, like the itchiness and the dryness. I'm not getting it so much. And two, my skin, my eye skin doesn't look so wrinkly. It was going really wrinkly and just dry and flaky, and it just looked awful. But this has really, really helped. And then after that, this product is old school. Just let your soul glow. I don't know how many of you guys have watched Coming to America. This product here is called S Curl, and this is a curl activator for people who have a jerry curl. If you don't know what a jerry curl is, a jerry curl is basically where people put like curls into their hair and um, loose curls into their natural hair texture and it always looks kind of wet like wet look I think in the 90s people used to have it a lot this kind of jerry curled hair texture and you had to have bottles and bottles of S curl or curl of activator to keep those curls moisturized otherwise your hair would crisp and just dry off <laughs> hilarious I actually had cousins who had an S curl I never had one I really wanted one though um but if you guys don't know, this product is a real amazing product. I am trying to just look after my hair under my extensions a lot more. I am fully natural now because my edges were just kind of crying Bloody Mary. And um, I just use this to moisturise my hair every other day underneath my hair extensions. But um, S Curl is super cool. It's so retro, okay? It's $2.99, it's a cheap product, but I just noticed that Urban Outfitters just sell it, started selling mane and tail again for the old school, you know, black kids among us. Mane and tail was like the product that your great auntie or grandma used to use or someone used to use. And you'd be like, auntie, why are you using a horse product? And now they're selling that in Urban Outfitters, okay? I can tell you real soon that S Curl will be on the shelves because this stuff is so moisturizing. It's basically water glycerin and some other stuff in it but it does keep your hair really moisturized okay so like non-beauty favorites are number one it's got to and I feel like I've mentioned these before but they've come back into my life and it's basically my meal tubs from the 21 day fix now the 21 day fix is basically 
a DVD, 60 days, no, 21 days of like working out and eating to get you really, really tr trim and really, really lean. And I did it after, I basically bought it after being in America for like a weekend and I watched the American TV and those ads and they make you want to buy everything. They make you want to buy everything. I am an advertiser's dream. I buy everything. But this looks so good. I like genuinely believed it. I was like, yeah, I need to do the 21 day fix. And it's, re it's really good. It's actually amazing the workouts are really intense and really good you can do them in half an hour and then I found that just having these really made me think about my portions and the way I put food together I'm not necessarily on a diet or something I'm just trying to eat better um, eat the right amount of portions for my body and just to be more thoughtful when I eat and they also have like a meal plan book and all that kind of good stuff but basically you put different food groups into your tubs and then you for each meal you eat a different kind of combination of your of the food group so this is say fruit i'm allowed three portions of fruit a day so i love just taking the thought out of like oh what should i eat how should i eat it and putting it this way and i feel like once I started doing this, I get a lot of bloating, so my stomach gets really big, as lots of people seem to notice. Um, I get quite bloated. I have um, like heartburn, like really bad heartburn and stuff. And I've always had like gastric problems. And I realised that when I overeat, it just causes me more issues. And for those of you guys who watch my vlogs and know me, I love my food. Like, <laughs> I love my food, <laughs> but the relationship has to change. It has to change <laughs> and I've been working on changing that relationship um, in a way that's positive you know just got this random just one piece of hair that is just straight like what is that doing oh it's that that piece from there after that I've got some jewelry pieces to show you number one it's my Larison and Jenning watch it is I believe it is a Swiss made watch and I don't know if you guys have seen these around they're very trendy but they're just an excellent piece of just watchery is it called watchery I don't know what you call it clockery I don't know I'm making it up it's just the most gorgeous watch ever it's in the rose gold and I saw this watch over a year ago a friend of mine had it in the gold and I was like it was amazing I went into liberties I was like looking at the watches and I just thought they were absolutely perfect and it's just such an amazing classic timepiece that you can wear with everything after that it's also this little bracelet with a kind of like an evil eye um, on it as well which is the classic blue and white um, design but it's done with stones and I picked this up while in a market in Istanbul my mum and I went on a really cool trip with Harrods to Istanbul and I just was you know in the market and you know you can end up buying so many things I ended up buying like a thousand teas literally pomegranate tea apple tea winter tea I picked up so many teas it was ridiculous and then I picked up this gorgeous gorgeous bracelet which is kind of rose gold plated and then it also has the kind of um, string straps there as well and I love like layering the watch and the bracelet together after that I have to share a book with you and it is my Ariana Huffington her book called Thrive came out in like 2014 it might have been a little bit older than that and I um I, I've had it in my collection but I hadn't really read it through and I have been reading it and for anyone who knows me I don't really read fiction I don't really read for entertainment I read for like to develop myself I love self-help books and anything that's going to inspire me to like be better and this book is all about rest and finding alternative ways to be happy if you don't know who this lady is she is the founder of the Huffington Post she was a best-selling um you know um a best-selling author at the age of 23 and is very very successful and she basically had awful burnout where she was ended up in hospital and it made her reevaluate her life to really look at what was important to her and that finding that the additional pillars of of um of happiness aren't just power and money and all these things and that there's other areas that we all need to develop and I think it's, it's just a really good book and it's something that I always want to remember and I try to be like yes I'm all about you know growing myself and working hard but also my family is so important to me my health is so important to me you know experiencing nature and helping and adding to people's life outside of what I do is always really important to me so I just feel like this is a really good reminder and if you're battling with just balancing your life I think that could be useful 
Finally, I have my Nike. These are my free, what are these called? My Nike free 5.0s. These are running trainers. And if you don't know, I also work a lot with Nike. Now I know each different type of trainer and how they work. So you have running, you have training, and you have style. And these are an excellent pair of running trainers. They're so comfortable. And I'm not like a pro runner or anything like this. I do run a lot more than I used to. Um, but I just realized that when you have the right equipment, Equipment, it makes so much difference these are the most comfortable pair of trainers you will ever ever have they are so amazing and they look great as well I can wear them with jeans or jogging bottoms and just go about my business and I've become someone who's really quite casual in the day probably shouldn't be but I am miss casual okay guys that is it for me I know it's not a monthly favorites but I'm just sharing some of my favorite things with you at the moment do let me know what you want to see next and I just wanted to have a little caveat about some things that happened recently I I want to apologize number one I've been a little bit snappy with, with people <laughs> you know we all got get there we all have hormones and stuff on my like social media and like especially on Instagram because people do say things sometimes that can be a little bit insensitive and I kind of had a barrage of comments that were like quite negative um about me and I kind of said something that wasn't the nicest i mean I, I said i'd rather if people would just keep silent rather than say anything and then said that not everybody has home training and also that my dad says common sense is not common it's not the nicest thing that i could have said but i was i was hurt i hurt i deleted the post um but um i think that we're in a day and age where people sometimes think that people like myself aren't necessarily human but we are and things hurt our feelings okay they hurt our feelings um but i appreciate each and every one of you and i do take on the words that you say and i want to do I want to do right by me, but also do right by you. Anyway, um, that's it. I will see you guys on Sunday. Let me know what you want to see, because I haven't got anything ready yet. I might do this, like, look or get ready with me or something like that. But I don't know. I think I might do something chatty, but I don't know what to talk about. Anyway, I've been on here far too long, so I'll catch you guys later. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye. Today I'm going to do my makeup collection tour, my closet room tour, and maybe give you a quick peek at my shoe collection as well. And if you guys have been watching me long enough, you know that I basically go through these phases of just wanting to clear everything out and getting quite, um, like, changing things a lot. That's